Diana is twice as old as Jane. Three years ago, the sum of their ages was 12. How old are they now? Is it letter A? Diana is three years old while Jane is nine years old. Or letter B? Diana is six years old while Jane is 12 years old. Or letter C? Diana is nine years old while Jane is three years old. Or letter D? Diana is 12 years old while Jane is six years old. What is your answer? So in order for you to answer this particular question correctly, you must be able to know how to translate a certain statement into a mathematical expression. So let's have the solution for this problem. So let's uh, let x be Jane's age. So we're going to assign a variable x to be the representation for Jane's age. And then Therefore, since x is Jane's age, then Diana's age is 2x because it is said that Diana is twice as old as Jane. That's why our representation for Diana is 2x. And then Jane's age three years ago was x minus 3. So we're going to subtract 3 from x because ingan man nga si Jane's age daw ay um, x. So, in other words, x is the representation of Jane's age. So, we are going to subtract it by 3 so that we could come up into a mathematical expression that represents Jane's age 3 years ago. And then, Diana's age 3 years ago was 2x minus 3. Hindi ba? Ang, ang edad ni Diana is 2x. So, 2x minus 3 to represent Diana's age 3 years ago. And then, it is said also that the sum of their ages three years ago was 12. So we could create an equation to represent this statement. So the equation that we're going to do is, or we're going to make is, x plus 3 plus 2x minus 3 equals 12. Because this is the age of Jane three years ago, right? And this is also the age of Diana three years ago. So the statement says that if we're going to add them, the sum is 12. And then from here, we, we should solve x. So, it's a solve natin si x. So, x minus 3 plus 2x minus 3 equals 12. So, we could um, eradicate the parenthesis. So, we could eliminate the parenthesis. So, x minus 3 plus 2x minus 3 equals 12. So, okay, this one, um, this equation can be written this way by eradicating the parenthesis and not changing not changing any of the signs and then let's add the like term so x plus 2x that's 3x and then negative 3 minus 3 that's negative 6 equals 12 and then let's solve this further so 3x equals 12 plus 6 so what happened to negative 6 here we simply transpose this to the right and when transposing kapag ita transpose natin ang Ang isang term from left to right or from the left side of, a, of an equation to the right side of an equation, the operation from minus becomes positive or plus and vice versa. So since this is minus 6, so after transposing it to the right, that becomes positive 6 or plus 6. And then simplify. So 3x equals 12 plus 6, that's 18. And then we're going to divide both sides by 3 para ang matira na lang ay si X. So, let's divide both sides by 3. 3x over 3 equals 18 over 3. So, bakit ang both sides ang, ang nag-divide tayo ng 3 both sides? To maintain the equality. So, dapat kung ano ang ginawa mo sa left side, yun din yung gagawin mo sa right side. So, nag-divide tayo ng 3 sa left side. So, we should also divide 3 sa right side. Alright? And then, 3x over 3, that's x. And 18 over 3, that's 6. Now, what is x? So, di ba sabi natin kanina na, let x be Jane's age. So, therefore, Jane's age is 6 years. Now, ang sabi rin kanina ay, Diana's age is twice of Jane's age. So, therefore, what is the twice of 6? It's 12. So, therefore, 12 years old, yan ang edad ni Diana. That's Diana's age. So, therefore, Jane's age is 6, while Diana's age is 12. And we could now answer our question of the day. The answer for the question uh, the first question is letter D. Diana is 12 years old while Jane is 6 years old. Alright? Now let's have one more example. 
Andrew is 18 years old. His younger brother is half of his age. What is the sum of their ages? Is it letter A, 18 and one half, B, 20, C, 27, or letter D, 30? What is your answer? So, in answering this, the same or similar to what we did earlier, we are going to translate each of this um, given, this meaningful given, um, into a mathematical expression. So, it is said that Andrew is 18 years old, so that's already given. And then, his younger brother is half of his age. So, therefore, ang younger brother ni Andrew is kalahati ng kanyang edad. So, what is half of 18? That's... Nine. So therefore, the younger brother of Andrew is nine years old. And then you are asked to solve for the sum of their ages. So therefore, what is the sum of their ages? That's 18 plus 9. That's 27. So therefore, the sum of Andrew and his brother's age is 27. And the correct answer is letter C. All right. Let's have this one. Michelle is 12 more than three times of her son's age. If her son is seven years old, how old is Michelle? Is it letter A, 30, B, 33, C, 36, or letter D, 39? What is your answer? So in order for you to answer this question, let's have the solution. So again, you just simply have to uh, translate each of these meaningful statements into mathematical expression. So let X be um, her son's age. So we're going to assign a variable X to represent the age of her son. And then, therefore, if X is her son's age or Ms. Michelle's son's age, therefore, Michelle's age is 3X plus 12. Why? Because it is said, diba sabi dito, Michelle is 12 more than 3 times of her son's age. So if we're going to multiply her son's age by 3, and then we're going to add 12, so that's the representation of Michelle's age. And then, uh, we could now um, evaluate, we could now substitute the value of Michelle's son's age to this expression to determine or to solve Michelle's age. Diba sabi nito, if her son is 7 years old, so that's why we're going to substitute 7 to this expression for us to solve Michelle's age, alright? So 3 times 7 plus 12, so 3 times 7, that's 21, plus 12, that's 33. So therefore, Michelle's age is 33 years old. And that's letter B. That's the correct answer for this particular problem, all right? Now, let's have one more um, age problem. Brian is three-fifths of his teacher's age. Three years from now, the sum of their ages is 70. How old are they? Is it letter A? Brian is 24 years old while his teacher is 40 years old. Or B, Brian is 25 years old while his teacher is 39 years old. Or letter C, Brian is 26 years old while his teacher is 38 years old. Or letter D, Brian is 27 years old while his teacher is 37 years old. What is your answer? This is Brian, by the way, not Brian. Brian. So again, in solving this, let's simply translate these meaningful statements into mathematical expression. So it is said that um, Brian's age is three-fifths of his teacher's age. So we're going to assign X first for that teacher's age. And then three-fifths of that X is Brian's age. That is um, stated here. And then the teacher's age three years from now will be X plus three. We're going to add three to X because this will represent um, the teacher's age after three years or three years from now. Well, for Brian's age, three years from now, that's going to be three-fifths x plus three, right? And then it is also said here that um, the sum of their ages is 73 years from now. So therefore, we could add this one. So we're going to add x plus three and three x plus three and equate it to 70 for us to solve x. So here is the equation that we could come up in this problem. And let's solve for 
x. So x plus 3 plus 3 fifth x plus 3 equals 70. So we could eliminate this parenthesis. So that's going to be x plus 3 plus 3 x, uh, 3 fifth x plus 3 equals 70. And then let's combine the like terms. So x plus 3 fifth x, that's 1 and 3 fifth x. And then 3 plus 3, that's 6 equals 70. So I hope that somehow nakakasabay kayo so, sa kung paano ko uh, sinisolve itong problem na ito. And then, let's transpose this 6 to the right. So, we're gonna transpose this. Why? Because 6 and 70 are both constant. So, they are similar. So, we could combine them. So, ang matitira na lang, 1 and 3 fifth x equals 70 minus 6. So, 1 and 3 fifth x equals 70 minus 6. So, that's gonna be, okay, this one. So, bakit? Uh, 70 minus 6, that's 64. And then, after that, we're gonna divide each of this um, each of the side of the equation by 1 and 3 fifths. So, that's si x na lang ang matitira. So, again, bakit naging 64 to? 70 minus 6. That's 64. And then, we're gonna divide each of the side of the equation by 1 and 3 fifths so that si x na lang ang matitira. So, 1, 1 and 3 fifths over 1 and 3 fifths x. So, ang matitira na lang, we could cancel man, uh, this one naman. So, x and then 64 divided by 1 and 3 fifths, that's 40. So, therefore, 40 is the teacher's age, di ba? Ang x ay ang representation natin or ang variable na inassign natin for the teacher's age. And it is said that Brian's age is 3 fifths of the teacher's age. So what is the 3 fifths of 40? So the 3 fifths of 40, that's 40 times 3 fifths is 24. So therefore, Brian's age is 24. And these are now the answers for our fourth question. So the correct answer for uh, question number four is letter A. Brian is 24 years old while the teacher is 40 years old, right? Now this time, I want you to try this one. So try to answer this age problem. Um, Jacob is twice as old as Kent. Four years ago, Kent was one-third as old as Jacob. So how old are they at present? So try to answer this age problem and let me know your answer by commenting your answer in the comment section below. That's all for now. Thank you. More power and let's keep learning.